Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, D-Field here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP today! We are going to make a sugar farm, or a sugar cane farm, and we're actually going to expand our current one because we don't technically have a physical farm right now. And um, I really, really, whoa, what happened to all my cobble? I really need, um, wow, I need to make some cobble now. So I, re I really need a sugar cane farm because I do have a lot of books and stuff. And um, I, re I need the books in order to, uh, obviously, to enchant stuff. And then I also need books and sugar cane and sugar to trade with my villagers. So in order for me to continue to breed my villagers over there, I'm going to need a lot more cobblestone. Or, I, I mean, I'm going to need a lot more... Um, What's it called? Sugar cane in order to make books and in order to make sugar. So I'm going to make a quick and efficient sugar cane farm. I'm not going to make it fully automatic because it's actually pretty, pretty simple to make a, um, like, a, just a nice, easily harvestable sugar cane farm. Just like um, on most faction servers, a lot of the people start with a decent sized sugar cane farm. And we're probably going to do something of that sort. And uh, we're going to make our way towards spawn real quick and check if I have any cobblestone. Look at our nether hub. It's starting to come together. People, I think it's Kyle and Dylan who've been working on this nether hub. And it's starting to look really, really good. And I like it. So we're just going to go ahead and continue. And hopefully I can... Um, Hope, hopefully there's some cobblestone in one of these, like, either one of these chests. Look at my little prank that I did on Kobe. Oh, geez. All right. Is there any cobblestone in here at all? No. Um, we're probably going to have to use, if not cobblestone, we're probably going to use sand and um, maybe stone bricks if I have any in my building chest here. Oh, there we go. I have some stone bricks here, so that should be fine. Uh, I'll take some andesite just in case. I need to go mining soon, actually. I haven't gone uh, strip mining in a while. Uh, leave in the comments section below, guys. Do you guys want me to actually record me strip mining looking for diamonds and grabbing more uh, cobblestone and then I'll talk with you guys maybe I'll have a story time with you guys uh, during like a mining episode in order to get more materials or do you guys just want me to do that off of camera like do all of the laborious work off of camera so you guys don't have to, have to actually watch any of that so leave that in the comment section below guys do you want me to do a mining episode in the near future in order to get more diamonds in order to stock up on my supplies again because I am running pretty low on diamonds actually so let me know in the comments section below, guys, what you want, because this series is all about what you guys want to see, and, uh, yeah, so, we just played a prank on the last episode on Farfew Games, so that was actually really, really fun, and, um, I'm actually not sure if he's back yet, or I'm not even sure if he's recorded that Rise episode yet, where, uh, he shows getting pranked, but, uh, hopefully he does that soon, and hopefully he gets a good laugh out of it, because, I mean, it's not too mean of a prank, but it's a nice, it's a nice prank just to, just to, where did my horse go? Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, jeez. Okay, that, that brought me down. I need diamond armor, but I, I don't have enough. I don't have a lot of diamonds. I've only have 27 diamonds. That's, like, full diamond armor and then, and then a little bit some. So, I need to, Oh, there's my horse. How did my horse get in here? No, you know what? You stay in there. This is my little horse pen for now. Alright, you stay in there, little horsey. You stay in there, D-horse. <laughs> That's such a cool name. All right, so what we're going to do, guys, as we said earlier, is we're going to take some of the sugarcane farm. See, I don't really have an efficient farm right now where it's just kind of all laid out randomly. So what I really want to do is uh, make it into, like, a straight line farm where it's easily harvestable and I don't have to go around, like, each and every single one of the marshes in order to actually... Um, in order to actually harvest this, the sugar cane. So I'm probably going to have to clear an area some, somewhere close by. Maybe just on the other side of the wheat farm, maybe? I could just do that. That'd probably be the easiest way to go about things. And we'll just go on the other side of the wheat farm and... Uh start making a sugarcane farm. So I really want the sugarcane farm, as I said earlier, because I really need books. I need sugar in order to enchant stuff. If I'm going to make that future blaze rod farm, it'd be really, really nice if I had a, like a constant uh, source for, what's it called, for sugarcane in order to enchant books, in order to have sugarcane. And one second, guys. All right, guys, sorry about that quick pause. Had to go do something really quick. But let's just jump straight back into here and uh, let's see where I want to place this farm. Do I really need the sugarcane farm here anymore? Because I do have my automatic wheat farm here. Hmm. Maybe I could just harvest this wheat and then um, I could place... Actually, no, let's, let's leave that there for now. We don't have to mess around with something that's already made. So, 
let's just make the sugarcane farm right behind um, my wheat farm so it'll be in a perfect like little line so we don't have to worry about it too much. So let's just clear out this area. We're gonna need dirt. I would use sand, which is a little bit easier, but I do I don't have any sand on me as of right now. So I'm probably just gonna end up using this dirt uh, right here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So let's just. I guess I guess we could just go ahead and jump straight into it. Let's just uh, make a line. So how how I make my sugarcane farms is literally it's nice and simple where. You just go into straight lines, and then obviously the water will be in the other side of um, this little this little patch you have here. And then because in order for sugar crane to grow, it has to be just one block away from any water source. So if we have that there, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So there, we can put we should be able to put sugar cane all the way down this line because there's water sources on at least one of the sides of the actual sugarcane so if we do that there's our one row of farm of sugarcane and then now since uh let's see how we could do this we could actually empty this so then this we'll, we'll say that this sugarcane row will be fed by this uh row of water here so in or the reason why we're doing that is because i'll show you guys one second come on all right, I need to fill this in so it's like infinite water source in here just to make it look a lot nicer. So let me make that infinite. It'll take like two seconds. There we go. So now, so if this if this row of sugarcane is being fed by this water source block going this way, that means we could put another layer or another row of dirt and uh, another farm on this side due to the fact that since this side is being already filtrated by this side, we don't need water on this side of the sugarcane farm. So if I put another row here, we can harvest two rows at the same time just by like kind of moving our mouse a little bit as we run down the row. And it'll, it'll make it so that it's, very, it's, a lot, it's a lot more simpler. It's a lot faster to harvest a full row of sugarcane instead of having to go through two separate rows. They're like right next to each other. And uh, that really just makes it, it ups the efficiency. It helps you out a little bit. I mean, you so you guys can see how easy it is to make a sugarcane farm and honestly this is this also applies for factions if you guys i know a lot of you guys play factions of a lot of you guys who watch my channel are on factions or you guys are really really liking factions so if you guys are just starting out on a faction server sugarcane is probably one of the most easiest way to make money especially on the archon uh, i think it's like for 16 sugarcane is like 75 dollars or something and that's a really really nice way to start off your economy i mean you can go to start from sugarcane and then move up onto the bigger items obviously but i mean sugarcane is always a nice start so this two by two two by whatever row is basically the the main design of a sugarcane farm so like imagine if this was fully grown all you'd have to do is run down the row and just go plack 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 and then you're harvesting both rows at the same exact time saves you time and then subsequently makes you a lot more money in the less in the least amount of time when you're making a sugarcane farm but for rise reasons we need this sugarcane farm in order to be able to make books in order to trade villagers in order to enchant be able to enchant the books and have books in to enchant so i i thought you know what i, I need to make this into a nice and efficient farm in order for um if in order for any of my future future enchanting businesses to uh to be successful because if i don't have a nice steady source of um books or sugarcane or paper for that matter then i won't be really i won't really have a nice business because obviously if i start to run out of books people will start to get impatient and we don't want people to get impatient when it comes to comes to buying and comes to actually owning a business on rise because obviously the people who charge the least or the people who charge um or people who get the business done the fastest will obviously have the most more, most business out of everybody. So there we go. I'm going to make, I guess I'm going to finish this off. So we're going to have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six rows. And that should be good enough. I'm actually, I'm not sure if I'll have enough sugar cane to even finish these last two rows. But we'll just go with it. This is really all I wanted to do for today's episode. I, I really, really needed to get this sugar cane farm started before I start to make my blaze farm. I'll probably do that uh, very, very soon. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the next episode. But I need to do it really quick because the ender dragon fight is going to be coming up uh, fairly shortly or fairly soon so I, I need to make sure that i have all like full diamonds i need to make sure i have it all enchanted and so in order to make sure i don't die 
And uh, yeah, that's basically what I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys, it's it's really simple to make a sugarcane farm. I mean, you could make it like maybe a little bit more efficient by putting slabs in the middle of each of the rows, but that's not really necessary. It's like an added uh, bonus feature, really. You don't, you don't, it's not necessary to have. But yeah, that's it. Oh, do I have it? Uh, do I have enough to make these two rows? Wow. Perfect. There we go. So there's my nice easy sugarcane farm. You guys can obviously expand this to however big you want. You can do multiple floors of this. There's really endless possibilities when it comes to a sugarcane farm because it's really, really simple to make. It's nice and quick in order to make money like on a faction server or even in a rice server. It's, it's a nice source of books. And um, you guys might be aware that I have like this massive uh, automatic cow farm here and I've been collecting the leather and you know what that leather is going to go just straight to um, making the books so I kind of have an automatic farm for making books like I have I have a source of leather I have a source of meat I have a source of sugar like that's basically all I need in order to make some books I might need some wood I think not 100% positive I don't remember how to make it I think book is just paper and leather but i should be fine I, I need the i need wood in order to make bookshelves i think that's about it but anyways yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's rise smp episode just making another quick farm and look at jack's building way over there just making another quick farm for you guys in order to kind of plan for the future um i'm probably i mean in the near future my well, i'm not sure how near in the future but in the in the in the future we'll probably make a fully automatic sugarcane farm like with pistons and everything i just don't have the materials right now in order to make those types of farms like because those obviously need like a lot of sticky pistons you need a lot of that sort of stuff so look, we're just gonna go ahead and continue uh with with the rise i'm, I'm having a blast recording this series honestly like the all the farms i haven't even started a mansion yet there's just so much planning that comes that comes to making like an smp server and it's really it's it's really really fun to have an smp server especially if you're playing with some of your closest friends um on minecraft but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's rise smp episode if you guys liked it and if you guys learned something new make sure you guys hit that like button leave a comment in the comment section below because i really really do appreciate and i actually do read all of your comments about whatever you guys might have to say hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode this is d field with a sugarcane farm and we will see you guys